I asked for a meeting with uh, President Obama uh, immediately. And uh, I was talking to was National Security Advisor Rice or Deputy National Security Advisor Haynes. And you told them that the Russians are not only doing this operation, but they're doing it to damage Hillary Clinton and help Donald Trump. I briefed them on what it was that we had learned from intelligence collection capabilities, what our analysis was, and what our concerns were. And the intelligence community assessment that we issued in January 2017 was remarkably similar. You know, some people say uh, Barack Obama should have rang the bell louder and, and, and more regularly. Well, if the President of the United States came up and said, the President, the Russians are trying to undermine the integrity of the election, they're trying to hurt Hillary Clinton, and they're trying to get Donald Trump elected, that would not go over well. And so he had to be very mindful that he had to not be doing anything that was going to have even a smack of partisanship. Congress is on recess. Uh, and so I then uh, reach out, or through my staff, reach out to the staff directors of the members of the Gang of Eight who were widely dispersed at the time, whether it be in their, their home districts or um, vacation or whatever. I got a call from the CIA director, uh, John Brennan, and he uh, asked me if I would go to Secure Line, and I found one at the FBI, and we had a conversation. It's a scary call, because as has been reported in the press since then, the call was about Russia meddling in our elections. But when he heard that the CIA then had this information and assessment, it really made his, I think, blood boil. You have to have some background. That background started a long time ago. Um, in September of 2015, uh, information came out that the Russians had hacked the DNC. Then we come rush up to after the first year in March, and we find that Podesta has been hacked, John Podesta. President Chief of Staff. And then we find in April that the DCCC, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, had been hacked. Putting all that together with Brennan's phone call certainly gave me the impetus to write the letter to the director of the FBI, Comey, telling him, here's the information I have, do something with it. The prospect of a hostile government actively seeking to undermine our free and fair elections represents one of the gravest threats to our democracy since the Cold War. I further said, the American people deserve to have a full understanding of the facts from a complete investigation before they vote this November. The President wanted a letter written to all the governors alerting them to our critical infrastructure, our voting system was being looked at adversely. And McConnell and Ryan refused to do that. They said that this was a partisan issue and as, if we mentioned a specific country, they wouldn't go along with it. They didn't want to alert anyone that Russians were involved in this. I've never heard of an operation on that scale aimed at the United States. Uh, no, and that's why uh, something of that scope and scale and gravity uh, requires the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, to authorize it and to direct his security service to do it because it has tremendous implications as far as uh, the U.S.-Russian relationship, as well as what the potential U.S. reaction would be. And uh, they decided to go ahead with it, but also, again, I think their, their primary objectives uh, undermine the integrity of the election, hurt the incoming president, and uh, if possible, uh, get somebody into the Oval Office who would be more amenable to Russian overtures. And they succeeded. Yes, they did succeed. Absolutely they succeeded. I, I think that uh, they um, certainly have raised questions about uh, the integrity of that election and how much they were able to influence uh, votes. Um, they certainly, uh, I think, uh, helped Mr. Trump become president. I could see someone in the GRU, the Russian military intelligence, which has been singled out as one of the actors in, in this attack, 
getting a medal because their operation many, was successful. Many, many medals. Many medals. Many medals. Sure. Absolutely. 